fight and you were known to have the best jab in the business. What was it about your style, your technique? What was it about that jab that made it so good? It just, it just worked for me. You know, I had to find out what worked for me. That's what I think a lot of fighters today need to do. Realize that, you know, you can you can take parts from another fighter and, and put it into your own game. But you can be the best you. You can't be the best Floyd Mayweather. You can't be the best Winky Wright because it's already been done. So whatever you get from another fighter, work on it and put it into your game and make it the best you. And Wink, you know, this is your night of getting inducted to the Battle Hall of Fame. So well deserved, but you, you had you had some early losses and you had about three losses and then, then you went on to become one of the best fighters in the world. What what exactly changed mentally and, and in boxing? That it, it, was, it, was, it was the determination to be the best. I want to prove that I was the best no matter what. I fight whoever, wherever, whenever. And you know, I got a few bum decisions early in my career. So, you know, the fans saw it, even though the network didn't, didn't want to admit it or whatever, but the fans so, so the band said they want to see Winky Wright. And, you know, as long as they kept saying they want to see Winky Wright, they had to show me. And when they started showing me in the big fights, I took over and they couldn't, they couldn't rob me there. But you were in, you, everyone knows you for your skills, but you were in some wars too with oh, yeah. Jermaine Taylor and Fernando Vargas. Of course. What was, what was... I like that. That's, that, that, them kind of fights make you a better fighter. You got to be a well-rounded fighter. You know, you can't just have it your way all the time. If you do, when you do get in that tough fight, you're going to fold. So for me, being able to have them tough fights and to overcome them tough fights, it made me a better fighter later on in my career. What was your favorite performance where you felt like you showed the most of what you could do? Like I say, I, I always go back to the Sugar Shane movie, the first fight, because without that, people wouldn't know who Winky Wright was. You know, everybody, you know, a true boxing fans knew who Winky Wright, but the, the public didn't know. So once I beat Sugar Shane, who had just beat De La Hoya twice, you know, now people got it, like, who is this guy? So then when I beat him again, now they got, okay, he, it wasn't a fluke. So then I went on, and then when I beat Billy Trinidad, they would be like, look, he hit. Because it's, it's a little surprising that you say Sugar Shane because everyone remembers the Trinidad fight. Yeah, you know? yeah because they, they know Tito as a great fighter, a great knockout artist, and they thought that you know he was going to come out there and just walk through my defense and, and knock me out. But the way that I, that I beat Trinidad was to eliminate his power and just, just take him apart, and that's what I did. Like I said, both fighters are great fighters. Both fighters are my friends, and you know what I'm saying? We had to do it because that's what the public wanted to see, but I got mad respect for both fighters. Winky, uh, you're inducted with Bernard Hopkins. You guys obviously had a great yeah. fight together. Yeah. What do you remember most about that fight? What's the most difficult thing the about the man, the head, <laughs> But listen, like I said, man, I have, you know, I have much respect for Bihar. You know, we both had to get in that ring. We both had to fight each other, you know. You can be mad at the time when you when you fighting, you know, when you're training, but you know, once, once once life goes on, you grow up, you understand that, you know, he had to do what he had to do to feed his family, I gotta do what I gotta do to feed my family. So, you know, it, it it's, that's our job. So to go in there and try to hurt each other. But I was disappointed in the head but because it kinda changed the way I had to fight because it, it my eye was cut bad. I could've I could have said no, I wanna fight and got a draw, but you know, the heart of a champion you gotta go in there and fight no matter what. Was he was he the craftiest fighter? He's very crafty. Uh, I, I I really can't say who's the crappy fighter. I say he's a he, he's a determined fighter and he know how to win and he know what he needs to do to win no matter what it is he gonna do it. So like I said, I think the head bust was a little frequent and much, but you know it is what it is. Life goes on. Look, I'm here in the Hall of Fame now. So does anyone remind you of Winky Wright fighting in the, the boxing uh, game? Not, not really. It's a lot of fighters that that that, that took my, school, my 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 style, and I and I and I really appreciate that. Shows that you know I did some. I, I left a mark on boxing, but I I would tell the young fighters today to take a piece of Winky Wright, take a piece of Floyd Mayweather, take a piece of whoever you like, but make that take that piece and put it with your game and make it the best you. Cause you can't be the best Winky Wright because it's already been done. You can't be the best Floyd Mayweather. It's already done. So. Whatever you like from another fighter, take it, use it, and make it your own, and then get your own identity. And what tools do you think they should take the most out of from Winky? The jab or the high guard? I like the jab, the defense, but mainly the heart. Y'all notice Winky Wright does no one. No one. I don't care if two weight classes. I fought for not like two weight classes. I fought Jermaine Taylor. I went up to his weight class in his hometown. So that's what I want people to know. Everybody talking about my defense, but y'all got to remember, I fought people in their hometown and, and, and didn't care. Thanks, Wink. Congratulations.